Before we begin, we'll need to know two pieces of information. The IMT25 calibration factor and what upper range value flow rate you want to equal 20 milliamps. Here we show a data plate from an 8000 series flow tube. Since we'll be configuring an IMT25 transmitter, we'll use the IMT25 calibration factor. For this example, we'll use an upper range value scaling of 150 gallons a minute. Now let's go configure the IMT25. From the measurement screen, we will press the left arrow one time and the screen says top level measurements. We'll now press the down arrow or acknowledge key three times until it says top level quick start. Next we'll enter into the quick start menu by pressing the change key or the right arrow key. The first thing that comes up is the meter factor format. Here you can change the position of the decimal point depending on the calibration factor that's stamped on your flow tube. All right. To do this, there's a, to get the instrument into edit mode, there's a two button key combination we must hit. And those two keys are the shift key and the change key. I usually recommend pressing and holding the shift key, pressing the change key, and then release both buttons together. So we're going to press and hold the shift key, press the change key, and release them both together. When you do that correctly the first time, it'll say go offline. Okay. What that means is if you're in a control loop, the control loop should be switched into manual before you continue. Because now, once we say yes, the transmitter will output 4 milliamps regardless of the flow value. So we're going to hit the right arrow key or the change key to say yes, it's okay to go offline. When we do that, the entire line will begin flashing. Okay. Our choices are exponential format. We have four positions to the left of the decimal point and five positions to the right or three positions to the left in six positions to the right of the decimal point. So for us, we'll leave this at three positions to the left and six to the right. If you had a calibration factor that had more than six positions to the right of the decimal point, you would have to round it to the last six position. So we're gonna accept this format and to accept it, we simply chain, hit the change key. Now, this is the meter factor that's currently entered into the transmitter. The default is 12, which represents the average calibration factor for a two inch flow tube. To change this meter factor number from 12 to the meter factor that's stamped on your flow tube, you would simply do the shift and change keys together to get the transmitter into edit mode. Once the transmitter is in edit mode by the left bracket flashing, you would now use the right arrow key or the change key to move along to each of the different digits and change it to the meter factor that's actually stamped onto your flow tubes data plate. In this case, the IMT25 calibration factor is 16.57196. So we'll move along and change this to 16 using the up and down arrow keys. We can change the numbers along the way. Use the right arrow key to get to the different digits. 16.5, 7, 
One. Nine. Six. The last digit will leave as a zero. We hit the right arrow again, gets the right bracket flashing. And then finally we hit the right arrow one more time to lock that number in. Sometimes you'll find the last couple of digits may change slightly. This will have no impact on the measurement. We'll go to the right. Here we have the rate format. Here you can determine when you're looking at the flow rate on the measurement screen, how many fractions of a gallon you see. Okay. In this instance, we can see tenths and one hundredths of a gallon. Many times on larger flow tubes, uh, people really don't care about seeing fractions of gallons and many times prefer to see just whole gallons. For this exercise, we'll look at one decimal point to the right. So we'll do shift and change. This time, the entire line will flash and we will hit the down arrow key until we get one position to the right. Hit the right arrow to lock that in. Hit the right arrow again, and here is our forward URV. This is our 4 to 20 milliamp scaling value. Okay, 4 is always zero flow, and whatever value here we enter is our 20 milliamp point. Okay, for this exercise, we're going to change this to 150 gallons a minute. So we'll do shift and change. Move along using the right arrow key to get to the tens position. And we'll make that into a five. Go to the right and continue to the right until we get the right bracket flashing. We press the right arrow one more time and that locks this value in place. Finally, we hit the right arrow and it will be prompted to go online. Hit the right arrow to say yes. The display says top level measurements. We hit the right arrow one more time and now we're back at the normal measurement screen.